Hi everyone. Today, I welcome you to the first episode of brush customization on IV Spentex. So, what is this brush customization? That is basically the menu you see after clicking on any specific brush. These are the seven options from which we can change the different parameters to customize our brush as we wish. In today's video, we are going to cover the basic and the fed option. In the upcoming video, I'll be talking about shape, then jitter, and in the last episode, I'm going to talk about the type, dynamic, and settings. There are so many informations to take in, that's why I have decided to divide the videos into four parts. Now that we are done with the introduction, let's get into the video. Today I will be using my all-time favorite brush, Penfed. So let's start with the basic customization. So this is the normal brush stroke of Penfed. I'm not using any stylus because I want to avoid any kind of pressure sensitivity. So everything you are seeing and you will be seeing was done by Fing. The first thing we can see is the thickness parameter. I am going to minimize the thickness of the start and maximize the thickness of the end. Let's see how it looks like. As you can see, the thickness of both the brush ends has changed significantly. Now if we decrease both the starting and ending, the brush thickness then looks something like this. I usually minimize both the start and the end thickness when I'm trying to do any finer details like eyebrows or eyelashes. Now let's talk about the opacity. We can see the default opacity of the start and the end is 1%. Now if we increase this to all the way up, we can see the signature blurred or faded ending of the pen fed brush is decreasing. Let's see what actually happened here. So this is what happens when I maximize the opacity and this is when I minimize it. You can clearly see the difference between the blurred end of the brush. So now we are going to move on to the next option that is fed. The first few parameters are similar to the basic option so we are going to ignore that and move on. So the first thing we are going to try is the force fed out. If we click on the force fed out, the ending of the brush becomes even more faded at the end. I am going to show you what happens. Finally we have reached the most interesting part of the tutorial, that is the blurring. First, we are going to turn on the blurring shape. There are lots of options, let's choose the brush number 1. Then we have to increase the blurring degree to be able to see the effect. I would like to keep it 50% so that it won't be too less or too much. Now, I am going to change the next parameters to 20% except for the last one. We are going to talk about that later on. I am sure you can see that the brush is gradually changing its shape. It's the same pen fed brush but looking completely different because of the customization. Isn't that cool? Now what if we play around with this some more? Let's increase the blurring of the middle to 100%. Now you see, 
the middle part is almost invisible. Similarly, we can do that with the end part to see something completely different. Let's take a look at a different brush type. So this brush can easily be used as hairbrush without even choosing the hairbrush. Mind blown. What if we choose this circle brush? It gives a very interesting combination of pen fed and airbrush which I would like to experiment myself for my arts as well. Now let's see what happens if we increase the blurring degree of the start. Now it literally looks like a comet. Finally, we're going to take a look at the last option, aka the jitter blurring. So I have chosen this wave 3 brush shape. Let's see how it works with and without the jitter blurring. Remember that introducing jitter to blurring means just adding random variations. So you can see that the intensity of the blurring is different at different positions. Now on to some 3D kind of look. If we choose the blurring shape of a radial brush, we can definitely see that 3D look whenever we draw a stroke because of different light and shadow. Isn't it fascinating to see how the original brush can be molded into different shapes as we wish. This is basically the actual representation of reality can be whatever I want. So that's it for today's episode. Hopefully this was helpful for all the beginners. Also, the usual Ibis Pentex users who are confused about this whole customization settings. There will be more videos on this topic. You just have to look out for those on my channel. So thank you for watching and stay tuned for the second episode. Till then, take care.